Happy Saturday, guys. It is, oh, I don't even know what day it is. Anyways, last night I woke up around, I think, 3, 3.30 to the most horrible, horrible smell. It was the smell of a skunk and it smelled like it was right outside my bedroom window. Now we've had skunks outside before and so that's, I just figured it was a skunk that an animal chased and you know how they let loose. <laughs> Anyways, it was so bad, I almost puked. It was like, I just wanted to, I couldn't believe it. So, and then I felt, I finally fell asleep. I think I slept for maybe an hour, got up this, around five because today is the full day review class for the pre-licensing school in Londonderry. So I have to leave really early to do that all day. And then we come to find out there was the most grossest dead skunk in the road. And that's what it was. And that's why it smelled like that. My whole house smells. It, everything smells around me from skunk. I can't stand it. So I'm kind of glad to be leaving today to go to work. Even though it's Saturday and I've been working all week and I'm tired and I'm like, ah, oh, I don't. It's a beautiful sunny day. And, you know, I was really hoping for rain so that I wouldn't feel so bad because it is, the class starts at nine, ends at five. I'm gonna try to do, I'm teaching most of the more first four hours is me, then we have a half hour break, and then I do something, and then for an hour and a half, I'm not involved, I'm gonna run to the mall, maybe. I'm hoping to run to the mall, but that's what I'm gonna do. So this is the beginning of my vlog. Uh, it starts with that awful, awful skunk smell, <laughs> just like horrible, horrible. Uh. Oh, you know what I wanted to tell you? I've been doing I've been doing some more research, and um, my sister had actually sent me an article on Bitumer Post. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. That is the main ingredient in Latisse Care Post and the Blink Eyelash Serum that I've been using. And I've often said, you know, my hoods have dramatically lifted. And if you've watched any of my earlier videos or earlier pictures, you will see that the hoods, I have very hooded eyes, they've dramatically lifted. And I'm like going, wow. And then my sister sent me the article and it, it happens to be where I thought it was my Retin-A. It's actually my eyelash serum that I think is doing it. Although I still have to look into a little bit more and, and I'll probably do a video on it, but that's kind of like, that's kind of like the scoop. So we did make it to the mall and I went into Macy's backstage. They had been constructing this area for a while and this was the first time I went into it after it was open. So they told me it was sort of like a TJ Maxx Marshalls concept. And these are not items that are regularly in the Macy's store, but completely different items. So I thought it was kind of fascinating. I didn't end up buying anything in the backstage area, but I really didn't have a whole lot of time to explore. So I think I'll have to do a trip back or make a trip back pretty soon. So I'm actually starting to try to think about what I'm going to, oh yeah, I'm getting ready to film a video too, but I'm thinking about, you know, what am I going to pack for Nova Scotia? So, you know, this is sort of a rough and tumble trip for us. It's not, it's, it, so it should be easier because it's not like I'm going on a business trip and, you know, a vacation or a few extra days. So I don't have to pack any business clothes. I don't have to pack anything dressy or fancy. You know, more, you know, very casual, very low-key t-shirts, stuff like that. And then probably just one, you know, better, you know, outfit, uh, top pants or something like that. But I sort of said to Jay, we're, we're each going to bring one duffel bag. We're going to be gone almost 10, we're actually going to be gone nine days. One duffel bag for clothes. Now, I did tell him that he could use another bag for his toiletries if he wanted. Um, not that he has a lot, shaver, shampoo, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush. I mean, not toothpaste, because we share that. So he really doesn't have a whole lot of that stuff like me. So, um, but I, so I kind of told him that so that he wouldn't get upset when I had a big bag <laughs> with my skincare. I'm gonna put all my skincare, my serums that I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put them in like one of those lunch cooler bags. 
because I like to keep my serums cool and we'll be doing a lot of um, driving in between where we're staying so I just want to be prepared for that so anyways I don't even know um, today is Sunday guys and it is Father's Day and we're gonna be going to pick up I don't know if we're gonna pick him up or we're gonna meet him there that's still up in the air but we're going to be taking my mom and dad out to a restaurant a seafood restaurant and some of the family members are going to join us my sister her husband one of her daughters I'm not too sure yet about my two sons they may be down their dad's house today so I'm waiting to hear back from them but um, yeah it's gonna be um, I think it's gonna be a fun day and then tomorrow if everything goes well after work we're gonna go and watch the sandcastles we're gonna go and see the sandcastles <laughs> That's what I should have said because they the judging is this weekend so they're definitely complete today today's the judging beach will be crazy crazy so we're not gonna go there today but um, but we'll go hopefully tomorrow afternoon uh, tomorrow after work and if not we'll go Tuesday or Wednesday well not Wednesday Jay golfs so that's happy the speech. Father's Day baby oh uh, thank you very much happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there yeah and it wasn't nice you got a phone call from Justin oh yeah that was nice yeah, he also sent me a gift, which I wasn't even expecting. That's unusual. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's Not probably... that you weren't expecting it, but that he sent some. <laughs> he must be growing up. I think so. I always got Tamara, so she's the one that's a gift to me. Oh, but do you know what it is? No. Yeah. We'll have to wait, huh? Yeah. Well, okay, we're off to meet some of the family for Father's Day at Lakeside. Yeah, that should be fun. Beautiful Hopefully. out there. It is gorgeous. 82 degrees right now, roughly. We might have to really have ice cream afterwards. Well, of course. That's an no-brainer. Over the table. Hi, Mom. How are you? Like your sexy shades. There's Dad. Hi, Dad. There's Jerry down there. And this is Sister Heidi and Kayla. And then over my baby. My other baby. <laughs> oh, to be young. To be young. Happy Monday, guys. I hope you all had a fantastic Father's Day weekend. Jay and I met with a good amount of the family, not all of them. My oldest son went down to his dad's on Sunday. My youngest son had gone to his dad's on Saturday, so he was able to spend it with us with his wife and my granddaughter. And we all, um, we all met at a Lakeside, a little restaurant in Kingston, and we just kind of sat around for about an hour you know, just talking and having fun and eating. And then after that, we went to Memories Ice Cream Stand. And I'm gonna insert some clips here, and you probably already saw some too. But we went to Memories Ice Cream Stand, and we were there for a good hour and a half. We just had a great, great time. It was really awesome. So today, Jay and I, Jay's already left. He's gone to Portsmouth. He's working out of the Portsmouth office. And I am going to Exeter. I'm heading out the door now. And we had planned to meet up later in the day after work and head to the beach. The sandcastles were all last week. They built them. I showed you some clips in my previous vlog of them being built. And then over the weekend was the judging and Saturday was the finale. But they're still up. They'll be up and lit up at night until probably 4th of July. So I always like to go see them after they're complete and not during the weekend if possible because of the traffic. So we were going to go tonight. And now they're predicting thunderstorms and you know it's going to be in the 90s and with thunderstorms so I really don't know I have no clue if we're gonna make it to the beach tonight but if we do I'll definitely share it with you guys so I'm heading out the door full day and um, hopefully we'll make it to the beach but if we don't tonight I'll get there later in the week and share those sandcastles with you they're really an amazing piece of art they really are an amazing piece of art it, it always blows my mind when I see what these folks create out of slabs of sand. It just does. So that's my day. Hope you had a good one. I should say, hope you had a good weekend. So it is actually Tuesday, June 20th. It's a sad day. We, yesterday, the 19th, we just had this awful storm come through and the storm came through. Jay and I were actually out on an appointment getting a listing and getting all the paperwork and taking photos and all that stuff and this storm kicked up it was like unbelievable we knew there'd be 
weather issues, but we didn't expect it to be as bad as it was. And it knocked trees down, knocked power down. We were without power from, I think, about 6 o'clock to about 4.30 all overnight. And, but the worst, the worst news is that we lost our little Gus yesterday. For those of you that have been watching the vlog, you know that Gus is a little French bulldog that is my niece's dog. And um, he's been a huge part of her life and her husband's life and the entire family. And it was so sudden and so unexpected. It's just, it's devastating. So I make fun in my videos of little fat little Gus, but little fat little Gus was just uh, the most friendliest, most, lo most lovable little dog and he was just about a year old so oh it's so shocking but anyways um yeah so it's going to be kind of um i don't know kind of a sad day i'm going to try i'm heading to exeter and i'm going to try to hit the sand castles on my way home i'm going to it's going to be up in the air i'm going to i'm debating that because i'd like to do it with jay but i'm also worried about the fact that you know, he's been really busy with real estate and with training, you know, doing the pre-licensing school that we might not get there. And I'm worried about the weather, especially after the storm last night. Who knows what condition they're going to be in. So I'd like to get a couple of clips of them while they might still be in, I don't know, decent condition maybe. We'll see. Happy Thursday, guys. Today is actually the official first day of summer, and that is, like, exciting. I just hope we really do continue to have summer like weather because our winter is really tough and our spring was not much better as most of you know so yesterday was super super exciting after work i went up to the beach and i had been talking to one of my loyal and i have so many loyal subscribers but i was i've been talking to this one lady donna for quite a while and we've been trying to meet up because she actually lives in New Hampshire. So yesterday we finally met up and it was so funny because she recognized me. <laughs> so I didn't have the best camera with me, but here's a little bit of a clip of us meeting. It's a real camera. Yeah. Nice. So hey, look who Hi. I found at the beach. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Can My you guys favorite YouTuber. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I think it's funny though. You know, she recognized me though right away, so I thought that was really funny. Yeah. Yeah, of course. So we're here at Hampton Beach, and um, we are going to do the sand castle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And who knows what else, but I'm not getting an ice cream. You might. No, no, no ice cream. None of us are going to get ice cream. No, we're on No diets. husbands to corrupt us. That's right. They can have the ice cream, and we can look and watch. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. I just thought it was really, really awesome. We ended up spending, I think, at least an hour and a half, maybe even longer, because I paid for a two-hour parking, and I think she came, I don't know, it was probably a good hour and a half. Anyways, we walked, this, and looked at the sand castles, and we walked up and down the beach, and then we just sat on a bench and chatted like we were the best of friends, like we'd known each other all our lives. And we just kind of chatted about a little bit of everything, family, life, hobbies, weddings, <laughs> all sorts of stuff. So it was just really awesome to meet Donna and to um, to just sit and, you know, and engage. It was so much fun. And then I took some video clips of the sandcastles. I'm not too happy how my video clips came out. So I'm inserting some here, little bits of, of the clips so that you can see. We do the sand castles every year. I really, really like it. And in my last vlog, I kind of showed you what they sort of looked like. But this was the 18th annual. And um, we have people from all over the country and Canada. A lot of our top winners are Canadians who come in and create some of these amazing works of art. So hopefully you can see from these clips that I have showing and a few still pictures that I'm showing you how really amazing it is. And to think that, you know, they created out of just piles of sand is just pretty awesome. So that was the highlight of my week. I don't know if Jay and I are going to get back there for any kind of evening because they're like, they're, they're lit up until 4th of July for the evening. And then, of course, as nature happens, storms and stuff like that, they, they kind of fall apart. 
but it's so beautiful at night. If do if we do, I'll definitely film it. It might be in another vlog. I'm not too sure whether I'm going to end this one um, at this point or I'm trying to think. Do I have anything else exciting coming up? I don't think so. Oh, I kind of do. I am going to, I've selected my winner. I selected my winner for my eyelash serum that I had in the previous video. So I'm going to post that one. That'll probably come up. I bet you, I don't know which one. That'll probably come live maybe before this one does. So, but yeah, I was like so excited about, you know, selecting that winner. And I just thought it was so funny because my video, you know, had sweet thing, you know, the sweet spot that it was talking about. And of course my winner's name is really cute. So hopefully she contacted me by the time this went live and her eyelash serum on the way to her. Hopefully. Hopefully. So I'm getting ready to head out the door and head to work. But I think I'm going to end the vlog here. And I'm making a new habit. I'm not going to touch my face anymore. <laughs> touch my face all the time. And I know it's not good. I'm always grabbing my skin, touching my face, my neck. I don't know. I think part of it is because... Um, all my life I was so shy, so I would always hide. So I think my hands is a barrier. And I think my hands in front of my face, you know, kind of, I don't know. I don't know. It's not like a security blanket. It's not like I suck my thumb, but maybe it is sort of that kind of adult version of sucking your thumb. I don't know. But anyways, um, <clears throat> thanks for watching my crazy vlog this week. Bye, guys.